let us see another function of banks which they do on behalf of Reserve Bank of India. There is a very important information which everybody should know about banks dealing in foreign exchange. Normally people know that banks, you go to a bank, you can buy a dollar, you can sell dollar, banks are do buying and selling dollars and foreign dealing in foreign exchange. Please note that banks are not dealing in foreign exchange by virtue of being banks. If a bank has to deal in foreign exchange, they must get permission from Reserve Bank of India and they must be appointed by Reserve Bank of India as authorized dealer, AD. Only when a bank is appointed as authorized dealer, they can sell or buy foreign exchange because they are selling and buying foreign exchange on behalf of Reserve Bank of India. Not because they are banks. There are many small banks, very very small banks, some cooperative banks and all, they don't deal in foreign exchange at all. Because by being a bank you cannot deal in foreign exchange. You can deal in foreign exchange only if you are an authorized dealer appointed by Reserve Bank of India. This is a very important information. Banks, you buy dollars, you know, they issue travelers checks, they do so many things, they issue travelers checks and then uh, they issue um, credit cards uh, which can be used abroad and then they negotiate bills, they collect bills, uh, they make payments, they open letter of credits. Uh, all these dealings in foreign exchange, it is being done by banks on behalf of Reserve Bank of India. Buying and selling foreign exchange and providing uh, dollars or uh, euros or uh, uh, Canadian dollars, all kind of foreign exchange is being done by banks as an agent.